Hello everybody, Dylan here again from Drone Tech. Today we're talking about the Poseidon drones. This is a continuation of our last video about downloading the app, connecting it to your controller and connecting it to your drone. Today's video, we're going to show you how to download the app onto your iPad or tablet um, and how to connect it to the existing phone mount that you get with your Poseidon drone. So let's get straight into it. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump onto the Drone Tech website. We're going to head to the menu and we're going to head right down to downloads. So on downloads, you've got the first product which is the Poseidon Pro Black. We've got the user manual, the Poseidon app for Android and the iOS Apple application. So if I click here, it takes me straight into the Apple Store, directly to the app that I require and I'll click download. We'll wait for that to download and install and there it is. All done. So now what we're going to do, we've got the um, IDF Tech Go app onto our iPad that we're using today. And now I'm going to show you how to mount it to the controller. So very familiar, we've got the controller with the phone mount. So what we're going to do, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, small Phillips screwdriver. We're going to loosen the lock nut that holds your phone in place. And we're going to bring it right up to the top. So where this middle mount is for your phone, at the back of the mount there's two Phillips screws. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to loosen those screws, make sure you don't lose them. We'll loosen those screws. So what I would do is, on the mount that you've just taken off, I'll just re-screw these screws in so that I don't lose them. So they are securely in place. And this I can put in a Ziploc bag and keep it nice and safe. And now it's time to mount our iPad. So, same principle as your phone. We slide the mount right up. We take our tablet. Slot it in place. Again, give it a nice little squeeze and tighten the locking screw at the back. This one. And now you have a 10 inch screen on your Poseidon controller. There we go. 